Hey, what's going on YouTube froggers? Today we're going to be talking about how to ship your poison dart frogs the correct way. In order to do so, there's a couple specific items you're going to need. First, you're going to need some sort of insulated shipping box. I use the Uline brand. Cryopack Phase 22 packs or panels. I use the packs just because they fit in smaller boxes. Some packaging tape. The tape gun is optional. Some sort of temperature reading device. I use a temp gun. Some sort of bubble wrap. I like to use the thermal bubble wrap. A two ounce deli container and lid, as well as a push pin. A permanent marker. Some plant cuttings that you have laying around in the tank. And last but not least, you're gonna need some really cool poison dart frogs. As you can see, I've got my phase changing packs to a almost completely liquid state. And that's because I'm in Ohio and we actually have some decent weather right now. And I'm shipping to Arizona and they have pretty similar weather right now. So I didn't want them to be warm um, or, or completely frozen. You want them basically the solid state when you're shipping in hot weather and you want really warm when you're shipping in cold weather. But it's about 60 degrees today. so. I kind of went for a in-between and you'll see here I do a temp gun test on the phase changing pack and I get a reading of 76.5 so anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees is good um, obviously the warmer it is when you're shipping in cold and colder weather um, but you don't want to actually cook your frog so you don't want it to be hot you don't want to get a reading of like 85 90 degrees that's a little warm even though you are using the thermal bubble wrap, you still want to get a reading of anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees. And here you can see I have a San Lorenzo froglet in a cup. Now you see that I'm rubbing my finger across. You want the hole that you poke with the push pin to go from the inside out so the frogs do not scratch their nose or face on it. And you can see here I just basically made a X with paper towel and I misted it so the frogs won't be moving around. As you can see, as I move the box, they didn't go anywhere. Now you're going to take a layer of the thermal bubble wrap. I'm checking to see which size I want to use first. So this one looks good. So I'm just going to place it down on top of the frogs. You don't need to push it down super tight, but I just want it nice and snug. Uh, so here, I'm, this customer is also getting some cuttings from me. So I am going to put these on the next layer here, but I forgot I have to put the face pack first. So I got my two face packs. Then I'm going to do my plants, then another layer of the thermal, and then the next layer I fold in half basically just to keep uh, pressure on the lid so that nothing is moving around in the box. Everything is tight and secure and anchored down. And the next step is to put some packaging tape on the lid and get everything sealed. So what I do here is I actually take one strip and then I fold the edge of it so it's not sticky on the back side, just on the, the tip. So basically, you're going to lay the tape down, and the idea here is to have a flap, which when you open the exterior box, you're gonna have something to grab that's gonna allow you to slide the interior styrofoam box out of the cardboard box. So you see here, just lay it down here, and then I'm gonna write a little pull tab you can tell I've done this a few times. I can do it upside down. <laughs> and you'll, I'll show you here that it's just something so you can lift that box out. And I also do it on the edges here, or the sides I should say, just so it's got a nice tight seal from the lid and the box so there's no air really coming through or leaking in. But like I said, right now it's pretty moderate weather so it shouldn't be an issue regardless. Now, if it was gonna be freezing tonight, then I would add a heat pack in between the cardboard box and the styrofoam box on the bottom, just so you have that radiant heat coming up. But like I said, that shouldn't be an issue tonight. So at this point, you're all done packaging the frogs and all there is left to do is print out your shipping label, attach it to the box and drop it off wherever you're shipping through. Personally, I use Reptiles Express which all you need to do is go to their website, create an account, um, fill out the information, you print out your label at home, 
tape it to the box and go drop it off at your local FedEx hub. It's just really easy to do and I get really good prices from them. So that's what I currently use. But by all means, you can do whatever you like. So it's as simple as that, guys. That's really all this video is going to be. No glamour shots or anything like that. So hopefully you guys learned something. And as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ufraga Hishtroyonica. Goldberg, out.